Hi YouTube, this is BD594. Today I'm going to show you how to build your very own MIDI controlled stepper motor using off the shelf components such as the Arduino Uno, Arduino Nano, IT Studio Motor Shield, and MIDI Shield. This will allow you to turn any scanner, printer, or mechanical device with a stepper motor into a musical instrument. At the bottom of my YouTube video there will be a link to download the Arduino source code. I will also show you how to build your own HP Scanjet MIDI keytar. Okay, now we're looking inside the chassis which originally had the uh, power supply and stepper motor circuits and I replaced them with the Arduino Nano, IT Studio, Motor Shield and MIDI Shield. Initially I wanted to use the Arduino Uno with a motor and MIDI shield but it was too large to fit into the enclosure. Okay, now we're looking at the uh, wooden handle. It comes in two sections. Um, this allows me to open it up should I decide to add a, uh, a pitch wheel or a modulation wheel in the future. And this little guy here is a normally open switch and this will allow you to change the direction of the stepper motor. Now looking at the front of the chassis is the power light and uh, now it's being utilized for uh, MIDI receive so every time the Arduino receives MIDI information the light will blink. Uh, let's quickly go over the limit switches. Inside the head mechanism there's a Hall effect sensor and behind here I have a, uh, a magnet epoxy to the chassis and I'm also a magnet in the front that's epoxy to the chassis. So if the head moves too far forward uh, the Hall effect sensor, once it hits a magnet, sends a signal to the Arduino and then the Arduino reverses the direction of the stepper motor and vice versa for the back. Basically it just prevents the uh, head from slamming into the chassis. And Okay, now we're looking at the back of the HP ScanJet where I installed a 5 pin MIDI input jack, a 1 quarter inch output audio jack, and a um, power connector uh, for an external adapter. Uh, for 5 volts, 1 amp. And uh, right now the uh, audio output jack is not functioning because I uh, still have to install uh, some stereo microphones here and uh, a preamp. Uh, now you can see I installed an I bolt in the back and I installed an I bolt in the front for the key tar strap. Now the only missing thing is a MIDI keyboard. Initially I wanted to use a Casio SK5 with a matrix switch to MIDI converter uh, which utilizes a PIC 16F84A microcontroller. If you google it uh, you can find the schematic and code online. But in the interest of saving time I decided to use a new MIDI controller from Arturia called the Keystep. Ta-da! Now let's take it out of the box and mount it and see what it looks like. Um, now that you see I've mounted the Keystep onto the HP ScanJet and I'd like to introduce you to the world's first MIDI controlled HP ScanJet 4C keytar. Now let's quickly test out some of these features before I strap this thing on and break my back. Uh, I preloaded a sequence already, let's just hit play. As you can see the head's moving forward. I'm gonna hit the switch here, it should reverse. It's reversing. Now I'm going to let it go forward and see if the limit switches are working. So now it's going forward. It's getting close and as you can see on the far right the MIDI receive light is flashing as it receives information from the arterial key step. There we go. You can see it changed direction so we know all the uh, features are working. Let's uh, give this thing a try. Let's try this again. 
Okay, I haven't forgotten about you guys. You just wanted to build your very own MIDI controlled stepper motor. I'm going to try and show you how to build this in under one minute. Who knows, this might be some sort of uh, world record. But before I start, I want to show you the Arduino is running the basic Blink program. Okay, let's get started in 3, 2, 1, go. So now I'm loading the Arduino code. Done. Okay, disconnecting the USB. Plugging in the motor shield. Plugging in the stepper motor. Plugging in the MIDI shield. Plugging in the MIDI connector from the keyboard. Last but not least, plug in the power. And here we go. Done.